And I really hate this bike. <laughs> oh my God. So we're gonna try to improve it. Whoa, whoa, how did you do that? <laughs> I'm Ray Morrison from New Zealand and race enduro. Oh. <laughs> I was feeling really good. I feel like my bike has come alive again. Like kind of feeling a little bit more like my LaSalle. Um, poppiness wise, I feel like I can move the bike around a little bit more. I got a Ford F-150, I ride for Thule, if that's not obvious, and I got a bunch of Thule stuff on it. What's up guys, we're Han and Mo, and in this video we're headed to DVO Suspension to test out some of the new forks and to see if I can somehow fall in love with my Yeti SB140 I've been struggling with. We also get to check out some awesome trails we don't get to ride very often. This is Rocky Peak. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been an insane few weeks getting ready for Sea Otter. We've been doing so much bike testing and creating so much bike videos on awesomemtb.com as well. We actually have brand new bike day and also brand new component day for Hannah. It's gonna be a really awesome week. And once again, you guys, we have some huge life news coming at you guys soon. Stay tuned for that. Oh. oh. Oh, look at, he's looking for your burrito. <laughs> you guys recognize Man, Myth, and Legend. How's it going, Bryson? Good. How are you, man? It's always good to see you. You know, or just, uh, yeah, I know. Get his burrito. Who are you? I'm Bryson. Everybody knows what I do. Oh my God, just I don't know. <laughs> so humble. <laughs> Everybody knows I don't really don't do anything. How would you describe Bryson's role at this company? <laughs> he cleans up the place pretty well. Um, he's very good at shopping on Amazon every day. <laughs> He's a busy man. He's a busy man. <laughs> he makes sure all his employees are happy, comfortable, satisfied. Blink twice if he's holding you hostage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Napmeister, for sure. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> to give me stuff and you stuff. <laughs> no, I'm trying out right now. This is my first day. <laughs> He's boss man. <laughs> my dad. Yeah, yeah. Bryson is one hell of a one hell of a janitor here. We're in our last video. You said that you've been recognized a few times. Yes. Yeah. Is it is it the bald head or is it the voice? <laughs> a little bit of both because I lost the goatee I had for a lot of years. Hold on, wait. I gotta get the phone. Bobby's fans are calling. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. uh, yeah. Bobby Strava? Yeah. The latest bike I've had in for testing, I haven't showed you guys just yet, it's the new Rocky Mountain Slayer. This thing has been absolutely insane, 180 millimeters of travel. There's a brand new rear shock coming out from DVO. Now it looks like they're calling this the Topaz Prime. What do we have here, Bryson? We got the Topaz Prime. <laughs> this is a new shock, which we'll be dropping here in a few weeks. People have been wanting is that independent high-speed, low-speed compression. High-speed, low-speed, uh, we call it, you know, sometimes it, it's connected. So it means like if you, if you just low speed, it affects high speed a little bit. If you just high speed, it affects low speed because oil flows through, the, through one circuit. So we've really sort of disconnected the, the features quite a bit on the shock and it, and it works really well. This thing right here, it has internal frame storage, which is awesome. And I'm also getting DVO on my Yeti finally too. That's my fork over there. <laughs> oh, Anna really hates this bike. <laughs> oh my God. So we're gonna try to improve it. So, so what's your thoughts on the Yeti SB140? I have really mixed feelings. Like I feel like on fast, like flowy, like. <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> I love Yetis, I love Yetis. <laughs> we want like here. less technical trails and even climbs too. I feel like the bike has really good momentum and it's super fast but whenever I get to like chunk and I'm not going fast enough I feel like the bike gets hung up and Bryson was saying it could be due to the suspension so I don't know we'll see how it goes so we have the new diamond we are just about to come out with this fork it's a 140 to 160 uh, trail fork a lot of the uh, technology actually trickled down from the onyx 38 that we just came out with our new updated d1 damper um, SL air spring um, new, new crown, and yeah, I think she's gonna love it. It is finally time to ride mountain bikes, and we have an insane crew riding some super chunky rocky trails. Let's check in with the crew and see what we got. I'm here, still here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to test out your new bike with the new suspension? Yeah, I'm really excited. I've been on Fox for like the past couple months, so I'm happy to be back on DVO, and I can't wait to try out the new Ford. Here is the rowdy crew we're riding with today. We have some special guests here. <laughs> We're just here to observe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ray Morrison from New Zealand and race enduro mountain bikes. Who are you? Uh, I'm Jesse Martin, Bryson's son. That he's yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it was in yeah. New Zealand. It's late night. Yeah. 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 Actually, I don't even remember your Whatever. mom's name. Nah, but yeah. Neither do I. Ray one's husband and mechanic, and I'm the importer for DVO in New Zealand. How does DVO in New Zealand operate? Like, how did that come to be? 
Um, I have no idea. No, 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 we don't really know. We had too many beers one night and then yeah. I had a bunch of suspension at my house and then we started selling it. Top of the South Island in Nelson and it's amazing. Yeah. If you ever actually get around to coming like you always say you're going to, we'll show you. Oh, I got it. <laughs> been on the international circuit for nine years and pro for eight years. Um, and it came to be, I did pretty well in New Zealand and just did a privateer life living in a rusty old van, traveling around Europe to all the World Cups and managed to get picked up by a team at the end of it. Is there hope for me to get picked up at any I mean... <laughs> no way you're getting picked up is at a homeless camp. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's a really nice way to put it. <laughs> is he a good mechanic? Oh, he's amazing. Especially with my bike, knows it in and out. I wish I had one too. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's... Another DVO diamond right here and another insanely fast dude. How you doing, man? I'm Spencer Rathcamp and uh, you guys came to my hood with uh, Bryson here and the DVO crew. And... Super sick truck over here. You want to give me a little bit of a truck check? I got a Ford F-150. I ride for Thule, if that's not obvious. And I got a bunch of Thule stuff on it. They gave me this, this uh, roof rack with the rooftop tent. It's pretty sick. Three person, plenty of room for activities. Got an awning on the on the other side, <laughs> and uh, yeah, 2021 Ford F-150 that drives me everywhere. You mentioned I ride for a couple of brands. Specialized happens to be one of them. This is the uh, I'm riding right here. Are you gonna show it to them? Or I'm going. I'm gonna put the right. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> it all works in the edit. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I was trying to show you. I'm on the uh, 2024. Stump Jumper Evo mullet setup, 29er front, 27.5 rear with transmission on it. Got the Topaz uh, in the back and the brand new Diamond D1 up front. My name is Daniel. I am on a Bullet CC with the new DVO suspension. My name is Will. I uh, work for DVO. I'm currently on a Canevo SL. I'm running the uh, the uh, WV version of the uh, Onyx right now, then a uh, Prime Topaz shock. Whoa, whoa, how did you do that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, as you guys can tell, the DVO Diamond, if you buy one, apparently you can do that. But we're making our way up. How big is the climb? Dude, I'm not the numbers guy. Oh, you're not? That's, that's, you need that? What guy are you, dude? It's, you just arrived? Maybe you can Okay. And look at these houses. Can you imagine living up here, dude? How much I mean, suspension do you think we need to sell? I live right around the corner. Oh, you do? Oh my god. Made it to the dirt climb, and Spencer literally just told me the craziest thing. You said you're about to become a stunt actor? Stunt man. What, what does I'm that working, entail? I'm working on it. Yeah, doing stunts in, in like Hollywood, like TV shows, movies, music videos, uh, commercials. Most of the time the main actor is not doing the actual stunts himself. Um, he, they have a second per a body double. I'm sure most people have heard of a stunt double. Yeah, working on trying to do that. Making our way up. Ah, 180 mils of travel, no problem. Look how insane this landscape is. Rocky Peak, I understand where the name comes from. I believe this trail is called The Grudge, following Hannah, who is following Spencer. Oh, wow. Gnarly right off the get-go. Sick. <laughs> oh my God, that air shock feels good on there, the new Prime. Ooh. Now I will say, as crazy as this sounds, I've been putting this thing through the ringer on big endurance rides, even though it's 180 mils of travel. Oh wow. And man, it's really blowing me away by how well this bike climbs. Ooh. <clears throat> nice, Anna. So many rocks. And right off the get-go, I can say, going from the air shock to the coil, feels quite a bit different. Oh, nice and chunky. Nice. Oh my God. Try not to die. Ooh. Oh, that is not really. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I just got dropped by everyone. Okay. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Not high. Hand on the Yeti. Nice. Now I got Spencer in front of me. Oh, nope, he is substantially better. Oh, wow. 
That is chunky. Nice. Oh, Spencer's gone, guys. Spencer is gone. Where am I going? I have horrible line choice down this. <sighs> Wondering how is Spencer this insanely fast? I mean, he's been a professional mountain biker forever. I have not. <laughs> but we're all out here having a good time together. <sighs> nice, Spencer. Dude, he's definitely killing me. <laughs> I'm trying to keep on. There's no hope. <sighs> what do we got here? This one you might want to take a look at. <laughs> Probably not as fast as you guys. <laughs> Lame. Phew. Nice, Hannah. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Phew. Up the trail. I have to say the DVO is feeling really good. I feel like my bike has come alive again. Like kind of feeling a little bit more like my LaSalle. Um, poppiness wise, I feel like I can move the bike around a little bit more, pop off things a little bit easier. Just feels more playful. Feels really good. I feel like that might have solved my issue. I feel like I'm liking my Yeti SP140 now. Yeah. Great confession, Spencer was saying. Right. Right here. Okay. Nice. Phew, hit my back. Tire on that one. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, Spencer's insane. How do you get that good? A lot of time riding your bike. <laughs> I don't know, like course I can buy or <laughs> podcast that we should listen to. Yeah, we don't do tech tips. <laughs> <laughs> a couple buddies started a podcast a couple months ago. It's called MTV Insider, Insider MTV, sorry. And uh, we're having some fun, talking for way too long, talking too much crap and having some fun people on, so. Go! Don't feel it. Don't feel it. <laughs> good job. Far so good. Coming out in one piece. Knock on wood. Phew. Even the chatter is significantly improved on with this fork. This feels so smooth. All that small bump chatter. Nice, Mo. Phew! Nice. <gasps> oh my gosh, my brakes are so warm right now. So loud. Oh. Woo! Up, guys. Yes. Hey. All right, you guys, so the ride is done. It was an awesome one out here in Rocky Peak. We got the van loaded up. Awesome ride, dude. Fun times. Right, and what, where can people find you? <laughs> Everywhere, dude. <It's laughs> loading this up, this might be one of the last road trips in this vehicle before we have a second vehicle. Stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for a long-term review of that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Until next time, you guys ride awesome. You.